Next up, the hole in the fence Xville on Interchange. Currently, I'm around the back of a store here. On the map, this is the east side, though usually the mall is depicted with this side being at the top. You'll see that in just a moment. Outside the back, we have an oil tanker here that almost completely blocks off vision from the power plant over there. And in this direction over here, we have Emacom in that corner there. I'm right by the section where the wall goes in a little bit, comes across and back out. This is where you need to head if you'd like to extract here. There's also an entry to the mall here that that we can exit through coming into the underground out and to the left. What we need to do is navigate across all the way over here to where the wall goes back here. When you walk inside of this and to the left here, you'll notice some barrels and a hole in the fence. This is where we need to stand to extract. Though, when you get here, you will need to drop your backpack in order to fit in. It's a trade-off for a really safe extract as you are very well covered. So do keep that in mind. If you come here, there is a trade-off. Having a look at the map over here, you'll see the main mall here, Emacom off to the top right corner here, power plant in the top left, and right smack in the center of the mall here, right behind Goshan, is the hole in the fence extract here. Here's the oil tanker, and there's two entry points to the mall on either side here. Once again, it's where the wall goes back here, on the left side behind the barrels, that's where we need to head. It's a very safe extract, and definitely worth choosing if you don't mind losing your backpack. Anyways, that's about it for this quick guide, so thank you all for watching, my name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!